Welcome to Southern Nights, guys. I'm your host, Dinah West. And I'm Veronica Gasway. Hope you guys are having a great week. I'm having an awesome week. Um, actually, yesterday I went to the tie-dye event on campus, and um, they asked me if I wanted to wear gloves, and I said no. And so when I was putting the tie-dye in the shirt and I got done, I looked down at my hands and I go, oh my God, I have tie-dye over my hands. And then I realized we were filming tomorrow. So I spent 45 minutes washing my hands and it did not come out. And it got every place but in the sink. So I have pink and green and blue everywhere in my room. So, so note to self, wear gloves next time. Yeah, I don't know why I said no. And you know, the funny part about it is they were in my pocket. Nice. Yeah. So nice. that's how it goes. <laughs> If you guys are bored, there's a lot of things happening on campus over the next few weeks. Coming up the week of September 24th, we have a few Nordic semester lectures including Norway and Netflix, exploring Norwegian culture through TV. A fan favorite event happening on Tuesday the 25th is a hypnotist Chris Jones. I plan on attending that. Also, don't forget to check out Edward Moont's photography in the Spiva Art Exhibit. What are you excited about looking at, Veronica? You know, I am really excited for that Munch exhibit. It's only the second time in the U.S. that it has been on display. So this is a really big deal for Missouri Southern. Yeah, I've never heard of it, so I plan on checking it out because I'm really excited. I like arts and stuff like that, so I think I'm going to go check that out. Do you know the painting The Scream? No, I've never heard of it. Oh, is it the one like where he's like, yeah, yes. that one. It's yeah. The, yes, that one. it's yeah. the same guy that did that uh, painting. So it's just his photography. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I, well, I plan on going to check that out. So we're excited to be here for our first show, and I hope you guys are excited about tuning in. We've got a fantastic guest lineup this evening. Connie Andrews from the Joplin Humane Society will be here. Chelsea Jeffries and Kaylee Baumhoover will be here. And we'll have a performance by Kelby Polk. We have a very fun show ahead, so stay tuned. A couple of us will be playing a game later on tonight as well. So when we get back, we'll be talking with the Joplin Humane Society, and there'll be a special visitor. I'm here on Southwater Key in Belize, Nanjing, China. I'm in Gothenburg, Sweden, Chicago, Illinois, Cardiff Castle in Wales. I am here in New York City, Branson, Missouri, the University of Edinburgh here in Scotland. I now live in Bremen, Germany as a photographer. And I'm currently in San Francisco where I'm playing Madame de la Grande. Oops, that's me in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. I'm an architect and interior designer in Seattle, Washington. It just goes to show you can find a lion anywhere. 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 You can find a lion anywhere. Hey, Mr. Connie and Rob, how are you guys doing? Good. Well, thank you for being on Southern Nights. So, um, so what's the Humane Society about? Tell me more about um, like what you guys do. Sure, absolutely. Well, um, we are an animal shelter. Mm -hmm. um, we are a 501c3 corporation, which means we're a tax-free corporation. Okay. What we do is take care of puppies and kittens and anything else you can possibly imagine. Okay. Um, we're an intake-only facility, mm -hmm. which means that uh, we don't go out and actively go get animals and bring them into us. What we do is we wait for um, the community or people to bring us animals or municipalities to bring us animals and then mm -hmm. we take care of them and then hopefully we try to get them adopted after they've gone through a whole bunch of stuff which Ms. Connie can Correct. Probably so explain. when they come in they're coming from about 12 different municipalities in wow. the area. So as you can imagine we get a lot of a lot of dogs and a lot of cats that yeah. come to us. Um, we make sure they get vaccinated, they get flea treatment, they get dewormed. We take care of them for at least seven days. That's how long we wait for the owner to come reclaim. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. they don't usually reclaim, which Aww. is a very sad part yeah. of the shelter. Um, usually around 40% of the dogs are reclaimed, and unfortunately, less than 18% of the cats are reclaimed. Aww. So, you know, at that point, we decide... Um, ready to put them up for adoption or if a rescue group group is interested in them we reach out to them and hopefully get them out of there as quickly as we can so how does the adoption process go along uh, when you come in we have you just go back through the shelter and mm -hmm. see if there's anything you're interested in, in meeting um, if there is then you'll come up front we have you fill out a very simple adoption application front and back um, we'll visit with you you know we feel like adoption is just a communication of uh, talking back and forth and make sure mm -hmm. you're getting the right pet for 
you know, if you live in a dorm, you're not going to want a big dog or yeah. you, a cat. You know, whatever works best for your lifestyle is what we mm -hmm. try to hook you up with. It's kind of like a whole baby process. You, like, come get it, bring exactly. it in, check exactly. out the house. So yeah. We want, we want it to be successful because we do not want the animal coming back. So. Yeah, yeah. So do you guys have, like, any events that you have where you kind of, like, um, you know, introduce the dogs or maybe if you want, or the dogs and cats, do you have, like, events that people can come and see them or just play with them, you know? Well, we're open every single day of the week. We're okay. literally open every day of the week. We open at 1 o'clock every um, Monday through Friday. We're okay. open until 5 o'clock Monday through Thursday. We're open until 6 on Fridays. Then we're open on Saturday from 10 to 5. Okay. We've been open on Sundays from 1 to 4 for you to come in and see all the um, animals that are available for adoption. And then we do have events. In fact, this Saturday we're doing an event called Paws in the Park, which is a vaccination clinic. It's also fun and games and food and activities. I think we have a weenie dog race. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, it'll be a, a lot of fun. And, and then you can also, after you see and partake in all the cool stuff, you can then go back and then hopefully find your forever friend and take them home. Will they be weenie dogs at the weenie dog there fest? There will are be weenie dogs. <laughs> weenie dogs at the weenie dog uh, fest. So say someone wants to volunteer, how can they do that? Well, volunteering is really simple. Um, we have you coming in, and first of all, you, you have to understand that there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and mm -hmm. we want you to come help, and we want you to have fun at the same time. But um, employees that work there, basically our job is cleaning all day long, just to make it safe and clean and happy for the animals. So volunteers come in and do all the extra stuff. You know, um, If you're OCD, it's a perfect place for you because we need help putting stuff away. Laundry, dishes, walking dogs, socializing cats, all those things that we don't have a lot of time for, that's what we want. So you just come on in, fill out an application. Um, I'll give you my cell phone number. You can text me. We'll bring you in for an orientation, um, which is just a, a real brief class on how our animals might be a little different than what you're used to at home because they are unwanted if you will mm -hmm. um after that we just kind of put you to work so the more you want to work the more you can come we will find something for you to do okay <laughs> stuff to promise. Do yeah so. well thank you guys so much it was great talking to you so if you guys want to go check that out go down to the joplin humane society help some cats and dogs go to the rainy waste this saturday thank you thank you so much mm -hmm. For more than 30 years kgcs has provided student produced programming for the four state region the station provides Missouri Southern State University students with opportunities to receive real-world experience in and out of the studio. From providing live coverage of sporting events and Joplin City Council meetings to producing and editing their own shows, students gain valuable skills in broadcasting. Tune in to KGCS-TV to support your local MSSU students. Welcome back to Southern Nights. Next up, we'll be hanging out with Carson Gilbert, who will keep us updated with all things pop culture. This is Keeping Up With Karsten. Hey guys, welcome to Keeping Up With Karsten. Keep up with me as I let you know the top stories in pop culture. It has almost been one week since the passing of rapper Mac Miller, who passed away from apparent overdose. Stars like Chance the Rapper, Post Malone, and Kendrick Lamar pay tribute to Larry Fisherman, as well as his ex-girlfriend, Ariana Grande. She posted a simple black and white photo of the star looking up at her on her Instagram. The latest in the Cardi B and Nicki Minaj fight as other stars taking sides, even the queen Beyonce. Wednesday morning, Beyonce confirmed that she was taking sides with Nicki as she posted a mugshot on the, at her concert and posted it on her website. What are friends for, right? The Black Eyed Peas will be releasing a new album October 12th, but Fergie won't be included. The cover topics issues like gun violence, social media, police brutality, and race disconnection. Where is the love? Well, it's coming soon. Each year, Apple comes out with the newest and greatest iPhones and mobile accessories. Apple released Wednesday the iPhone XS, XX Max, and iPhone XR. will have a better size, storage, and camera speed. Of course, lasting longer batteries. Keep up with me next week as I go over more pop culture information. Thank you, Karsten, for all things pop culture. I uh, loved your segment. And also rest in peace to Mac Miller. That was a really um, surprising but um, sad loss in the music industry. Our next guests for tonight are Chelsea Jeffries and Kaylee Baumhoover, here to talk about Missouri Southern's theater department. Hey, give me that back. Make me. Want it back? Here. I could have done the same to you, but I chose wiser. Thanks, Rory. 
Bullying shows weakness, not strength. Remember to tell, yell, run, or defend yourself if you have to. Nobody should get bullied. That's right, Rachel. That's right. So now sitting here with me, I have Chelsea Jeffries and Kaylee Baum Hoover with me, and we're going to ask them some questions about their theater group. So how are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? You guys look really good, oh, too. Yes, you. you're welcome. <laughs> so I understand you both are theater majors. How long have you been interested in the theater and, like, the arts and stuff? Yeah, well, I've been doing <laughs> theater my whole life. Really? Um, I actually was born in Wichita, Kansas, so mm -hmm. when I came over here into Joplin, I really started getting a lot more interested into theater, and I knew that Missouri Southern had a great program when I came in here, and I was, like, super excited to go to school here. All right. Yeah, and I've yeah started in junior high since I knew I sucked at sports. I just decided. Oh my God, girl, same. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. So, what has been you guys' favorite performance so far that you've um done? Uh, well, here I've uh, probably a show called Veronica's Room. It was um like suspenseful show, and I got to be killed in it, and it was oh, wow. crazy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, and my favorite show was probably Antigone last fall. Um, it's a Greek tragedy. It was all about kind of what what rules belong to God and what rules belong to man. Mm -hmm. And it was it was quite reflective on society, which I definitely love about theater. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys are having a show coming up, so tell us a little bit about um, the show that you guys have coming yeah, up. Yeah, our next show is called Ghosts. Mm -hmm. um, it's about the um, decisions of your past and the ghosts of your past, how they reflect the future now. Mm -hmm. um, it's set in the 1880s okay. and so and it's also part of the Nordic um, semester okay. so, um, it's by Henrik Ibsen who's a Nordic okay. um, oh. playwright so mm -hmm. uh, we also have we have that right now and then um, that those dates are the op October 3rd through the 6th October at 7 30 okay every night and uh, we also have a children's show coming up in November Yes, the children's show is Hieronymus A. Frog, which is coming up. It's going to be the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th. The 16th at 7 o'clock p.m. And then the 17th and the 18th, that Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be 2.30 p.m. matinees for the kids. Okay, and I understand about, um, tell us about the Tater Theater. I know it's having some problems and going under some construction, so mm -hmm. um, tell me more about that. Yes, well... Taylor Auditorium right now has been shut down to the theater department because there's lots wrong with Taylor. The curtains aren't flame retardant and they haven't been for years. The fly system is ripped out. The fly system is very important to theater education because without knowing like the system of ropes and pulleys, which is such a big part of the theater for flying in backdrops and mm -hmm. stuff like that, I as a person that wants to go into theater education need to know how to work that kind of stuff. We don't have that in Taylor. Yeah, so it's because of all those things um, It's that we've been asking for for decades to be fixed. Um, mm -hmm. We can no longer use that theater. So the children's show will now be in the black box, which only seats a couple hundred, yes. instead of the thousands that would come, the students, um, the children would come and see it from the community they'd be bussed in during the school day and get to come see the shows, um, which has been a tradition for a long, long time. And now that doesn't get to happen anymore because, um, they're also going, they put up a sound shelf for the music department, which is awesome, but that means we don't get to use it anymore. Aww. It's a temporary fix, but they might, may or might not fix it. Um, the uh, administration did put in a request for, to the state for like 30 million or $20 million for it to be fixed, but we only need $250,000 to get those things fixed so we can use it again. So, um, yeah. Are you guys doing any fundraisers or anything, or are you going to... Yes, we're definitely looking into it. Um, we're looking for donors right now, mm -hmm. because it, the la like the loss of Taylor Auditorium for the children's show, 3,000 children are yeah. not going to be bussed in to see live theater like they usually do every year. So we're definitely looking for donors. These repairs and, renova re these repairs and renovations have been requested for years, but ignored. So we're really trying to fix the little things so we can move on to get the big things fixed. And if there's a way that someone wanted to join and help or just become a part, um, how did you do that? What's well, the process? Um, right now we're working on um, trying to speak with administration um, and then later on we hope to do some uh, petitions and then maybe some community events mm -hmm. um, that people can come to. Um, even letters or yes. emails about um, what the theater means to mm -hmm. people 
um, in the community would be a great help. We're collecting letters at um, my email address, kayleebomhover at gmail.com. Yes, and we're really collecting letters and trying to show to the board that the theater matters in this area. The arts are booming in this area right now. Um, the high school is becoming a huge source of thespians, a huge source of theater lovers, and it would definitely be great to have that as a theater school for the university. But we need to have a facility that wants to attract those theater lovers. Yes. Well, thank you so much, ladies. And um, if you want to figure out how to help, contact um, Kaylee, and she will help you figure out um, sorry, <laughs> sorry guys, I got a little confused. But um, if you guys want to figure out how to help and save the theater, or even join the theater club, contact Kaylee or Chelsea, and they'll be glad to help you. Thank you so much, ladies, Thank for your you. time. Thank I really you. appreciate it. You know, a lot of successful people got their start at Missouri Southern. It's a university that gave me, gave me, gave me more than just a degree. It created opportunities. It helped me make the right connections. It opened a world of possibilities. From behind the mic. To the Grand Ole Opry. From Las Vegas, Nevada. To the Ravensfield. And everywhere in between. You can find a lion anywhere. Welcome back. I'm here with my friends Kelby, Kaylee, and Chelsea. Today we'll be playing Minute to Win It. The rules is you have one minute to complete a task. The person who finishes the task in one minute or the fastest wins. Since we have four people playing, we'll have two sets of two people going head to head in the challenge. The two winners will then face off in a final challenge. This first challenge, two people will have one minute to get a cookie from their forehead in their mouth without using their hands. In the next challenge, the other two will have one minute to pull out as many tissues as they can from the tissue box. And in the final challenge, the two winners will have one minute to transfer six ping pong balls from one bowl to the other using only a spoon. So, let's get started. Okay, who's all right, minutes. guys. So, um, I guess, well, all, let's all participate in the Oreo one. I think that would be entertaining. So, I guess we get Oreo. Put on it. Got, got somebody keeping the time. Yeah, okay, I'll count you guys down. Right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Five, ready? four, okay. three, two, one, go. Oh, this is really awkward. This is so weird. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. Oh man. Alright. So try trying. again. Alright, we're facing off. I can't. It's like stuck under my eye. Oh. Wow. Oh. There it goes. Oh, I don't oh my god. I touched my tongue. Dang it. That sucks. Oh, yeah. So we're all obviously well, really bad yeah. at this game. <laughs> I guess we're out. Alright. Two theater majors. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, she's close. Oh, oh. Don't get in the mouth. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> it was so close. Um, so I guess we'll say you guys won because we technically failed to vote, you know, most of the time, and you guys were last one standing. So we're gonna do the next game. It is the tissue game. So you guys will each have a minute to get all the tissues out the box. Yeah, just throw them out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So okay. we'll have my girl count you down. Done this before. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh, Chelsea! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh God. My allergies are crying right now. Oh, she won. You know you cheated! Look at that! She cheated! I didn't mean we'll take to. She cheated. So now we'll have <laughs> it was two face off in the ping pong since it looked like a tie to me, so we're just gonna keep it rolling with them. It looks um, like a tie, Chelsea. I'm just gonna act like Chelsea though, because she's right there. <laughs> All right, so now you guys have however much time because I forgot, but you know, to get the ping pong ball and then this bowl. All right, ready? With our mouths? Yes. Or? Go ahead, put your spoons in your mouth. On your mark. Get set, go. Okay. Wow. Oh, Chelsea. <laughs> this is really intense. <laughs> I feel like she has an unfair advantage because her ball's smaller than the other. I think it's just putting the ball in the spoon. Is that spoon. Your, wait, your ball's smaller? No! Yeah, my ball, my ball you is, can't get the, the ball No, in your the ball spoon. is smaller than mine. You see that? <coughs> oh, go get it. <laughs> Alright. Oh. oh. She had coaching. She won. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We had a lot of fun with this game. We'll be right back. Sorry. So, good job, guys. I think you guys did really good. You're on this course.
We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 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 What's up, Rory? Hey, Robert. I thought you might want to give that game a rest and get outside for a bit. Wow, this is great. Thanks, Rory. The real adventure is lived in real life. We're back and we're here with Kelly Pollock singing us a song. So tell us about what you're singing and about yourself. Um, well, I am an English secondary education major at Southern. It's my last year. Woo! I'm about done. And I will be singing If It Means a Lot to You by Day to Remember. Take it away. Hey, darling, I hope you're good tonight. And I know you don't feel right when I'm leaving. Yeah, I want it, but no, I don't need it. Tell me something sweet to get me by Because I can't come back home till they're singing La, 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 la Now everyone is singing You can wait till I get home Then I swear to you that we can make this last La 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 If you can wait till I get home Then I swear come tomorrow This will all be in the past Well it might be for the best And hey sweetie Well I need you here tonight And I know you don't feel right when you're leaving Yeah, I want it, but no, I don't need it I just feel complete when you're by my side Because I can't come back home till they're singing La, 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 la Now everyone is singing La, 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 la Wait till I get home And I swear to you That we can make this last A la, la, la You can wait till I get home Then I swear come tomorrow This will all be in the past Well it might be for the best You know you can't give me what I need and babe, you know you mean so much to me I can wait through everything Is this really happening? I swear I'll never be happy again Until you tell me we can just be friends I'm not some boy that you can sway It would have happened eventually La, 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 la Now everyone is singing La, 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 la If you can wait till I get home then I swear to you that we can make this last La, la, la If you can wait till I get home Then I swear come tomorrow this will all be in the past Well it might be for the best That was for Dobbs Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. We had a great show tonight. Don't you think we had fun? Yeah, it was definitely great yeah, to see Yeah, it was everybody. a really good show. I want to give a special thanks to Connie Andrews from the Joplin Humane Society, Carson Gilbert, Chelsea Jeffries, Kelly Baum Hoover, and Kelby Polk. Thank you for watching, audience, and have a great night. I hope to see you next time.